This is a celebration of the Great Falls National Historic Park. They said it couldn't be done. We did it. Yes. Congressman and Patterson native Bill Pascrell joined several of the state's top officials to celebrate the cementing of the Patterson Great Falls as a historical landmark 10 years ago. This is one of the pr proudest moments of my life. Where we are standing was the engine that built America and then powered our nation into the industrial age. This is hallowed ground. This is America. No other site in the nation better tells the story of America's transformation from a rural agrarian society based in slavery to a modern economy based in freedom and opportunity for all. And a central figure in that story is Alexander Hamilton. Patterson became America's first planned industrial city after Hamilton realized they could channel the energy from the falls to create a manufacturing hub for the nation. They toiled over textiles, produced scores of paper, they poured hot steel, and they welded iron. By the 1850s, Patterson wasn't just an epicenter for locomotive manufacturing. It became a leading global producer of silk. And to this day, Patterson is known as the Silk City. Since taking office, Mayor Andre Saya has made the revitalization of the falls a major priority of his administration. We've seen in other municipalities where you focus on restoring your parks, it helps economic development. Look at Central Park. The property values are at its highest around that park in Manhattan. So in Patterson, we want to rise and we want to rise together. So we're going to do it through the parks. And rise they must. Just a few blocks away, you'll find some of the worst poverty in the state. 29% of residents live below the poverty level, an unemployment rate nearly twice that of the state. Still, city leaders acknowledge this is an uphill battle, and they feel the falls are a good place to start. Across the bridge is a park called Mary Ellen Kramer Park, and that was really the first big project. So we put a new viewing platform right at, right at the falls so people could get very close and feel the spray of the Passaic on them. And then um, this park was rehabilitated just last year. This is Overlook Park, which is where we're standing. The city's still in the planning phases of the next big projects. There will be a brand new visitor center built on the foundation of the steam plant to my left, a new quarry lawn that'll take up this portion of unused space to my right. They hope the project will be completed by 2021. That'll be the 10th anniversary of the start of the redevelopment here at the Great Falls. In Patterson, Joanna Gagas, NJTV News.